Overnight, the death toll here rose from seven to eight, and now law enforcement officials tell NBC News that they're looking into whether the driver slammed into this crowd intentionally or whether it was an accident. And we should also warn you, some of the video of the crash and its aftermath is disturbing. This surveillance video shows the seconds right before an SUV plowed into a crowd waiting at a bus stop Sunday outside a migrant shelter in Brownsville, Texas. The mayor says eight people were killed, some of them migrants from Venezuela. At least nine others were injured. This morning, investigators are still trying to determine a motive. One, it could be intoxication. Two, it could be just an accidental one. Or three, it could be intentional. A bystander telling NBC News that he heard from other witnesses that the driver yelled anti-immigrant language. But police say they can't substantiate the allegation, and it's still under investigation. Law enforcement officials tell NBC News the driver is a Hispanic male who is not cooperating with investigators. He's been arrested and charged with reckless driving, but more charges could be pending. Just a terrible situation to to witness such a tragic loss of so many lives. You know. The migrant deaths come just days after Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas visited Brownsville, touting a new processing center ahead of the lifting this week of the COVID border restriction known as Title 42. The policy change is expected to bring yet another migrant influx to the southern border, as many as 10,000 people a day. The situation at the border is a very serious one. Last week, we visited Juarez, Mexico, where thousands of migrants have already gathered. What's been the hardest part? What has been the most difficult part? The hardest part is never having work, food, or water, this man from Guatemala told us, saying he planned to cross the border with his two-year-old son. The Biden administration is preparing for the end of Title 42 by sending 1,500 active-duty troops to the border and setting up asylum processing centers in Guatemala and Colombia. But the president telling MSNBC's Stephanie Rule that Congress needs to act. There has to be a legal pathway to citizenship. Back here in Brownsville, makeshift memorial is growing outside of the migrant shelter. And the mayor says several of those injured remain in critical condition this morning. Hoda. All right, Gabe Gutierrez for us there. Gabe, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.